So, today I thought I'd show you how to do the shellac burn. Um, so I've got this image on the canvas, on the board. My nice plywood boards that my hubby makes me. And I'm just, I mixed up some shellac. The shellac comes in a powder form for me, the way I buy it. And um, I think this is like some something to do with beetles. I think it's something off the wings off of beetles or something. Anyway, so then I just mix that with some mess. That's like your spirits. And I leave it for a couple of minutes. And then you get this nice sort of brown, golden brown mixture. So I'm just painting that on to my wax. Now I thought I would go around the image. So I'm not sort of going over there. I just thought I'd do that first, see what that looks like. If if I want to go over the top later, I do can do that later. Anyway, so I'm going to do that. Paint that on. In those areas. It makes it quite shiny, actually, this shellac. Now the other image I had the other day when I was doing the transfer is actually underneath this one <laughs> because I did a little experiment uh, which kind of went wrong because I was trying to get um, I was mixing the um, the oil paint with different things to see what would happen as a layer on top because I'm trying to get this splitting with well, you'll see when the, what happens is with this with the shellac is I leave this to dry and um, and then I go into it with the blowtorch and it makes a really lovely splitting effect now what I wanted to do was I wanted to have colour mixed in with that so that it um, it split the paint but also having say white or blues or greens within the shellac I haven't tried that yet I haven't tried the um, mixing with that but I, I think I did actually it comes out because it's so brown it comes out a funny colour so maybe I need a different type of shellac I think there is another type of shellac clear shellac well, that's obviously the brown one because it the, the the flakes are brown and when you mix it with the this the mess it's just it still stays that sort of brown which is actually it's really nice but what I wanted was I wanted to have white paint on there or blue or green or red or whatever and create this splitting effect that happens that you'll see in a minute when when I go into it with a blowtorch. So anyway, there's my image so far with the um, with the shellac on, nice and shiny. And um, we're just going to wait for that to dry. So I'll wait for that to dry, and I'll come back to you in a minute with the blowtorch. Okay. Okay. Well, that was a bit of a palaver. I had to go to the shop and buy some. Um, gas for my little blowtorch because I couldn't find it so anyway now finally I'm here I've got my blowtorch I've got the gas so I'll just fill that up I've got my torch lit and now what you do is you just go into your piece and just carefully ah oh, it's dying again You can make the little holes. It's actually better if it's a little bit lower. I think. A bit more control then. So I don't know if you can see what's happening. 
it's creating like the cell like kind of almost bubble There we go. I love doing this, it's so fun. So you can either do it all over the piece or just in little spots. I was thinking of just doing some bubbles coming out of his mouth, but anyway, just to show you, I'll do the whole thing so you can see what it looks like from before when I put the shellac on. I went out today and I bought some sh clear shellac so the next thing is I'm going to experiment with that um, with using perhaps using some colour with it as well to see if I can get this effect but have colour as well so I found the clear shellac at the paint supply shop so I'm hoping that that's going to do what I want it to do. But I do like experimenting with things. And, you know, like I said, uh, this one, this painting is a redo because the one that I did when I did the image transfer video, I did a little bit of experimenting <laughs> and lost the whole image. Anyway, it's just texture, layers. I think, anyway, the more layers you get, the more interesting the, the whole thing becomes, so. So you just keep going into that like that. This, and you can probably get better at this making you know what size hole you want by moving the torch away and regulating the heat. I think if you have it on really hot it tends to just make one big hole because it, the heat hits the thing and it just blows it away, it blows the shellac away. I think I'll just sort of make it go over the top of the image. Where it touches the image. What you could do actually as well is you could then repaint with shellac and then have another go back into it just to see if you can get some different layering effects. Okay, I think that's good. So there we are. That is a dry shellac burn.